improve this? So what, what, what do we do next year? What's, what yeah. Just, just like sort of sowing, sowing some seeds, discussing it with people. Hi, I'm here with Adam Hogg, who's the tournament director for the Nitto ATP Finals in Torino. Uh, the first question is quite basic. What does a tournament director do in this kind of events? So the key, so the definition, I guess, of the role is to is to pull together all the different stakeholders that are contributing to the event. Um, we're very fortunate here in Turin. We have a great working relationship with the Italian Tennis and Paddle Federation, who who deliver a lot of the operations of, of the event, as you see. So working very very closely with them, but also with broadcasters, the media, the players, and, and making sure that that plan to an event is successful across all of those stakeholders comes together in one piece. And then ultimately, once we're here on, on, on site, it's, it's planning for and, and reacting to any situations that, that we have. Um, today being a prime example with the withdrawal that we just had earlier this afternoon with, with Stefano Sitsvas early in that match. So, so being the one that's, that's directing what that plan is, making sure that TV are aware of what we're doing, players are aware, the crowd are aware, our digital channels are aware, and, 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 and making sure there's a, there's a coherent plan in place and, and, and making those decisions in real time. Yeah, and so I, I guess Matteo Gambuto is, you have kind words about him, he's a friend of mine, so. He's a very good guy and, and works incredibly hard on this event and a lot of what you see around me, behind me, um, he's integral to and, 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 and delivers, delivers on. So no, a, a, a great guy, a real, a real asset, um, really hard worker and one that, that um, we rely on and, and, and can trust to do, a, to do a, an impeccable job. So. Yeah. And what is new this year compared to the last uh, two editions? Yeah, well, I think it's not even just the last two editions. I think you can sort of go, go a long way back. And, and it's kind of that mantra that for us is um, as to what, what this event means for us as the ATP. It's an event that, that ultimately we own, um, but it's also the, the shop window for us. So we're always looking to, to enhance the event, develop the event, improve the event, um, the world of entertainment live events is incredibly competitive and, and any event that becomes stale should we say um, you, you start having threats around attendance viewership and c consumption engagement etc so for us it's all about growing the event year on year i think there's a there's a couple of additions here particularly this year that are that are that are, uh, that are new so somewhere probably above my head just up there <laughs> with my left shoulder um, from a broadcast perspective the introduction of, of bird's camera here in the I've arena seen that. Um, so flying, flying around the court, getting some incredible shots, not just during, during match play, but when the, the player entrance, when the players are coming onto court. Um, but also from the, the tournament perspective and, and the investment the FITP have made out, outside in the fan area, the, the fan zone has, has grown um, enormously this year. So a huge investment there, um, incredible level of, of sponsor engagement, um, food and hospitality offerings for, for fans. Um, opportunities for people to play uh, and get a racket in their hand and, and, and play on courts. Um, so yeah, real, a really large sort of structural investment, but, but actually also one that just shows how big this event is and, and, and frankly just keeps people here in the tournament environment for longer. Um, so rather than them just turning up to, to watch the, the doubles followed by the singles, they can, they can stay for longer and, and in the evening people can, from the city can, can come and enjoy the environment even if they don't have tickets and come and, as I say, dine here, watch the tennis on screen, engage all the sponsor content so yeah lots of um, lots of lots of, uh, of developments and I say it's something that the year on year both ourselves from the ATP but also I'd say working with the FITP we're we're keen to constantly improve and, and, and develop on and, and actually one of one of sort of winding the clock back it feels a lifetime ago <laughs> now but on the Thursday Friday and Saturday um, we had around a thousand fans in the arena each day so we had the players here behind me on center court practicing um, and for nine hours a day, we had we had fans in on the on, on the opposite stand, which the players absolutely loved. So rather than just playing their practice sets and the like in the in the, the build-up days, but actually also getting that feedback, getting appreciated, and obviously naturally sort of sharing autographs and selfies and everything at the end of those practice sessions. So it made it a really nice environment for them in the, in those days. Where obviously they're preparing to to do their day job comes come uh, come Sunday. Um, but uh, yeah, just just a nice way again of allowing more people to experience the event. I, I think that's a great idea. We have a, a precedent in, in Torino when the U2 came here at the stadium to test the new tour. So they were not playing, they were right. just testing. 
uh, all the fans were outside just to listen and they came it's famous they came up Bono came out with the pizzas for all 150 <laughs> nice. pizza for 300 for all the people out there so I think it seems you're also using this event a bit to test new things uh, innovate more here because you have full control it's the one place where you have full control Probably, to be perfectly honest, more so our next-gen ATP finals rather than here. Um, I mean, this is the, in terms of ranking points, it's the fifth, the fifth biggest tournament on tour. The players have competed um, all year on tour to be here. Um, we'll look to do, sort of, to provide some ancillary services here, particularly for the players and the coaches. So recently, we launched um, Tennis Viz, which is a, a data analytics program for, for players and coaches. Um, so, for example, in the, the player boxes, there's, there's tablets so the coaches can see mm -hmm. live data coming in um, during the match. It's updated after every point, so that's certainly a, a, an addition. But in terms of the obviously the, the, the tournament rules per se, should we say, then 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 nothing nothing changes there because, as I say, it's um, there's 15 million dollars of prize money on the line, <laughs> so it's it's it's, yeah. it's, it's pretty very, very serious. Yes, exactly. and, and basically the the player box is the area here where you normally see the families also, Correct. and where Correct. the, the yes. team of each player Correct. is yeah. staying. Yeah. yeah, so court side, as you see, sort of within six foot of the court really so um yep, yeah that's where, that's where their team no, no, i have to say the venue and the court everything looks amazing so you when you enter from it, it's really and the way you animate the show i think it's super I, i've seen it done in a bigger space from world athletics they're trying but clearly tennis it's a bit easier <laughs> because yeah. the space but it makes such a difference with the fans i guess yeah i think the the challenge now is, is, and kudos to them, but broadcast is, is so good these days. So you, you've got to convince people ultimately to open up their wallet and get a credit card out and buy a ticket. Because yeah. it's you, the view that you get from your sofa where you can get a drink out the fridge, you don't have to queue for the toilets, you don't have to travel <laughs> to the venue. It's, it's really compelling because the, yeah. the, in the last 10, 15 years, the quality of broadcast has, I think has gone through the roof. So you need to have that compelling reason to say, come to the event yeah. you know, get an experience here at, at the event that's that beats what you what you get on site and that's that's really key for us so we we work very very closely developing the the show the experience call it what you want here in the arena obviously tying in all the, the commercial requirements with, with partner exposure and everything like that but also ultimately providing a, an experience that for the fans that's very different to what you get at home mm. you're coming to see a, a, a complete as I say, ultimate experience from the five minutes before the players come on court, the build up, the music, the show that we put together, all the way through to sort of the, the in, in match activation. So, it's, as I say, it's very different to what you'd get if you sit on the sofa at home, um, mm. but hopefully one, and judging by the ticket numbers this year, so yeah. supported by the, the, the presence of Yannick, of course, but, but an incredibly strong field. People have, have not just Turin, but but internationally, a huge amount of international visitors here to the Nice HP Finals. People people want to come because it's it's an experience and and and, and one that, um, that as I say, they're frankly worth spending hard-earned money on to, to buy tickets for. And, yeah. uh, I think the moment you kind of to your previous question, the moment you stop innovating, doing new stuff, not just for the 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 public watching at home around the world, but for people here, that's where you start. It starts slipping off the, the radar of people's minds. If that's an event I want to go to, so that's why you've got to keep it fresh, innovative, use the latest technology, make it make it an experience that people ultimately walk out the stadium at the end of the afternoon or the night and go, I can't wait to go back there next year. Yeah, to be honest, when we came the last year for the semi-final, I love the tennis even if I spent uh, all my career, 35 years, watching from inside, like you, yeah. uh, sport event. But my eight-year-old remembers the fan village maybe more than the tennis itself yeah. because it was fun it was a lot of uh, things to do so i think it's almost double this year can yeah, i say that very nearly yeah and yeah. Uh, not to be too positive or you know pushing <laughs> the atp finals um, agenda but ticket is really go going yeah, well or, or very very close to a full set out so wow. um yeah I and i can tell you from because i'm from torino yeah. the city loves the event loves what is going on yeah, i think that's really noticeable and just Thankfully, I was just about to get out in the mornings to get a bit of exercise before we, we come here for the day. And or driving into the venue, you can see the not just the, the city engagement, of which there's a huge amount. We had some fantastic events in the build-up to the tournament at the, mm. the, the, the Plaza Reale. And apologies my, if I butchered the Italian. Oh, no, 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 oh, no, no it's go. perfect. You said it perfectly. Um, other venues in the city, but the, yeah. the promotion down via Roma, um, the branding around the city, but also the, the activation by partners, sort of. Every bus stop, you, you see a Lavazza ad yeah. or a Nito ad or an Intesa San Paolo ad. 
Um, so it's a yeah, huge amount. It really feels like the, the event has come to the city, the city's embraced yeah. it. And, and it's, it, not, so. it's not an easy city. We're people yeah. from the north. Yeah. Not very friendly. I I'll, mean, take, I'll take your word for that. I mean, I mean <laughs> again, again, that's uh, at least the, the stereotype. Yeah, but no, but it's, uh, we've had a huge amount of support and it, it really appreciates it. I know you've been involved with the finance for a long time, correct? I have. Uh, since We're well, working on it since 2009, so when it was first, first moved to London from Shanghai and in my current role since 2014, so my 10th iteration. Wow. So, yeah. so what, what have you seen? I mean, what is the transformation that you have seen? I think it's sort of coming back to what I said, it's the, this event for us as the, as the ATP is our, it's kind of our shop window, should we say, it's an event that, that, that we own, it's used to operate in London and now, and now um, run in partnership with the FITP here in Italy. And for us, it, it comes back to that point of just continual, continual innovation. Um, embracing latest technology, pro providing bigger and better experiences for fans here. Um, and as, as we were just talking about, particularly here in Torino, really close engagement with the city. So it's, you're not just coming to a venue to watch the tennis, but as I say, the whole, the whole city, the events that are going on around it, before the, before the tournament, during the tournament, it just feels like it's a, it, it, it just grows year on year. And, that, and that's, that's key for us in terms of the engagement, the, the economic impact that it drives for, for the city, for the region. Obviously from us as on the tour, the, the feedback the players get, because ultimately it's, mm. this, is the, this is the players' end of year yeah. tournament. Yeah. Um, they get treated like absolute superstars, but for them it's also a, a real privilege to be here, um, look after them, not only the eight singles guys, but the eight doubles teams and, yeah. and the alternates as well. So that for them, their friends, their family, their teams, um, they get an experience that, that is, is not to say irrelevant of what happens on it's court. It's a company but, retreat. But we want, we want, well, no, no, I wouldn't go as far as to say that. But, but we, want, we want them to have a, a really positive experience so that, frankly, come the start of the season, they, their thoughts are, I really want to be back in Torino at the end of the year. Because not only, of course, is a significant amount of prize money and points on offer, but actually it's an, it's an, an event that they love coming back to because of the, the way that they're treated by us, by the city, by the fans. It's, it's very, and I think, You'll see and that tonight when Sinner plays Djokovic. Yeah. Um, how vibrant yeah, it will be. Unfortunately, I can't stay. I have to yeah. be with the kids. But uh, that will be an amazing match. Yeah. One thing that I want to ask is, is your job simpler or more difficult compared to 10 years ago? I'm sure it's different, obviously. I think it, I mean, ultimately it comes back to that first question, which is making sure that all parts of the event are, are ready to go particularly sort of almost from day one on Sunday all the way through to the event. The, the hard bits are the bits that, that you almost can't plan for and have to react to. And um, I mean, we have plans in place for what happened, for example, this afternoon and, and, and turn that around pretty quickly. But in, in that side of things, it's, it's, it, I wouldn't say it, it changes too much. It's um, <laughs> an easy year is a year where nothing happens. <laughs> but I'm not sure that ever happens. So, uh, um, yeah, it's, it's co co constant evolution, as I say, working with increasingly with, as I say, our broadcast partners, uh, the FITP, the, the media, the players. So, so maybe we can say what you deliver is more complex, but the tools you have to deliver have also improved. So in the end, it, it's been maybe more people, etc. but it's not dramatically different in that sense. Yeah, I think it's... The key for it is also is just, it comes back to that always having that thought, particularly during the week, where we're obviously very fortunate to be you real time. Here, but also constant, not just going, right, what do we need to do now, today, in the next 10 minutes, the next hour, tomorrow, but actually, how can we just constantly be thinking, how can we improve this? So what, what, what do we do next year? What's yeah. what we just, just start sort of sowing, sowing some seeds, discussing it with people, um, because it's a lot easier to think about it when we are standing here and can have those conversations than, than doing it over a Zoom call in April. And goes, oh, I can't remember what the, what did the venue look like? So, you yeah. know that this resonates so much for me because I've always had the best, in theory, the best idea for the next thing when I was at events. Yeah. The problem is when I was doing FIFA World Cup, it was four years yeah, after. Exactly. You got a long time. And it was to like, remember. wow, yeah. why should I? I could yeah. have thought it three months ago, yeah. nine months ago. Yeah, so, so but absolutely, it, being key. here is where your brain it's, works it, faster. It triggers, it triggers ideas. You can have those conversations, float concepts around. Be receptive. I'm, not, I'm, I'm certainly not the only one that comes up with those ideas. Be receptive to others. Mm. Um, as I say, it's a lot easier to do it now and go, oh, how about that for next year? Mm, 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 um, mm. Rather, no, that's, rather that's than starting with a blank piece of paper in a, in a, virtual, a virtual conference room in, in the spring. So. Yeah. So one thing that, uh, understanding the complexity of this, can you tell me more or less who's doing what? Because I see a lot of things, I have a bit of experience behind the scene from a certain angle, but 
Yeah, it would be good to have a view of who's doing what. Yeah, well, the, I mean, there's a, as you say, huge amount of, of kit around around <laughs> us as we stand here. Um, I'm not sure I, I will name name all suppliers, as it were, but broadcast perspective is ultimately HP Media, our um, yeah. organisation that we're sort of incredibly close with as, as the tour, um, are the host broadcaster here. So everything that you see in terms of TV cameras around us um, sit with them and their responsibility and supported by, by Gravity Media. Yeah. Um, to, to deliver that operationally um, and then some obviously bespoke suppliers like like birds as I say we were talking about previously yeah. um, within the within sort of the commentary boxes up behind us you obviously have the, the likes of, of Hawkeye calling the lines and our video review software scoring suppliers um, and then from a, a show perspective we work very closely with Wasserman Experience to, ah. to, to, to develop that um, everything that you see pre-match throughout the match ultimately we, we kind of call it and sort of become a bit of a, 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 a cliched phrase, but the the what, where, when, why, which is essentially every screen surface that you see around us, what's on it, at which time, why is it on it, what's the look we're trying to create all the way through from the moment as we look around, the, the doors have just opened and fans start trickling in, all the way through to the moment that last fan leaves at the end of a, a, a singles match. We have that, that development of a, a run of show in terms of what content are we pushing out there? Does it tick our contractual commitments with partners and deliver what they want us to do? Uh, does it deliver for fans? Does it deliver for broadcast? Um, and then working with the FITP, a number of their suppliers in terms of the likes of Informa Sistemi, um, Modo, uh, the, a number of, a m number of, uh, of suppliers that help develop not just the, the kit in the arena, but the, the parterre boxes next yeah. to us. And, and the ticketing? Uh, is it like a ticketing for this event or it's yeah, something? Yeah, so it's managed by the, the, the Federation. Ah, okay. So they, they, look, they look after that working with the, with the venue. So. And then obviously you have all your digital and social uh, things as always. You have Tennis TV that yeah. is uh, including this obviously event. Yeah, Tennis TV is HP Media's social, yeah. social media um, handles. So we have the, 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 the tours um, social media that they look after. Um, and then obviously also FITP as well, and, and then and then providing content to the likes of broadcasters, to the players, to sort of extrapolate that message and widen the audience. So. And broadcaster are Sky and uh... Dom domestically, uh, so Sky Italia and, and Rai, right. and then Super Tennis show ah, okay. a delayed match a day okay. within Italy. Yeah. Oh, okay, good. So I kept you a long time in a long day <laughs> That's okay. with a lot of uh, crazy things happening. So. I, I, I'm sure you will enjoy the match today. I hope as an yeah, Italian be, that it goes my here. way, but whatever. <laughs> I think I mean, it'll be loud. So. It will be great tennis in any case. Thank you, Adam. Really, really appreciate your time. No problem Thank at you. All.